Hey guys, Pretzel here, and welcome to the second episode of Pretzel Explains. So before we get into this video, I just want to say uh, I do want to get a news video up soon. Um, there just hasn't been anything uh, really to talk about. There has been one subject that I could talk about, but it isn't necessarily something I would originally talk about. Uh, it's something kind of related to one of the topics that I talk about, but um, I'm just going to wait till there's more information about the topic that I really talk about, and then I'll add that into, their, into that video, so I'm just going to have to wait for something to come out about that topic, which hopefully there's something soon, um, and we'll see what happens then. My hair is messy. I still gotta get a haircut. But anyways, uh, for this second episode of Predzel Explains, we are we are going to be stop we are going to be talking about stop motions. So my stop motions, of course, if you go back and see my stop motions, I'm not really good at them. Uh, I'm still I, I I guess you could say I'm still a beginner. Um, I'm still learning how to do all this kind of editing and all that kind of stuff uh, Which is mostly the reason why I'm not good at it um, I do plan on doing more uh, Throughout the future my next one will most likely be SH Monsters Godzilla 2014 versus SH Monsters Godzilla 2019 uh, I do not know when I'll have that out, but the things I do want to get first is a one a um, what's it called a tripod for my iPad because uh, when doing stop motions I have to hold my iPad my iPad and you know take the pictures and move the figures and all that kind of stuff to make the stop motions uh, and with a tripod it would be a lot more easier because I would be able to put it there and then do the pictures, move the figures, picture, move figures, do the picture, move figures without having to worry about, you know, setting down the iPad and moving around the iPad and all that kind of stuff. And then I can get good angles on stuff and all that kind of things. Um, but I also want to get uh, is this editing tool for my stop motion user that I use on my uh, iPad. And I want to, it's like $5, I do believe. Um, I'm eventually going to get it. It'll help me out with some things on my, while doing stop motions. Uh, and I also want to make a base for uh, doing stop motions. Uh, uh, because I'm just going to say this now. I'm going to stop doing stop motions on human or humanoid type characters like my Marvel Legends and my Predator figures because those are a lot more harder to do than with my Godzilla figures because the tail for Godzilla supports uh you know the rest of the figure so I don't have to worry about him falling over every 10 seconds like I do with the Marvel Legends and the Predator figures because I don't want to be have my good predator figure sitting there, then me trying to take a picture of him, and then him falling. Then I have to quickly react before he ends up breaking something. And it's happened before, and I don't want it to happen again. Um, and it's really frustrating because uh, some of the figures that I have, and I try to do stop motions with, are hard to make them stand, uh, especially in a certain pose, which is. Another reason why I need to get, um, I don't know what they're called. I think they're like figure stands or something like that. Uh, I want to, here, we are back. <laughs> uh, something like this. Uh, this is broken, and if you go back in one of my stop motions, I do believe it's, uh, like SH Monster Godzilla versus this Godzilla, that Godzilla, and all that kind of stuff. But I do use this, and it had like a claw thing so you can 
catch around figures. Uh, this came with my uh, giant Red of Venom figure. Uh, and it ended up breaking, which was very disappointing. I tried fixing it, but it didn't work out, so that sucks. So, there's nothing I can do about that. So, I'm going to have to try and buy a new one of those. So, I don't have to worry about that. And then I can get running poses and all types of different poses, because... Trying to get a figure to stand on one leg is like the most extreme hardest thing you can ever do and Sometimes I have to like use my hands and put like I have to try and get where my hands not in the way of the camera and all that kind of stuff because when Your hand gets in the way of uh, the stop motions people notice that and, and then are like Instantly oh that's a terrible stop motion. You got to stop doing that um and I see that a lot, and but you know I can understand why, because it's I don't know. <laughs> but uh, again, if I get like a computer and all that kind of stuff, and I can do better editing, it'd be a lot more easier. Uh, same with like the you know the drawings and all that kind of stuff. But of course, I'm just using an iPad. My hair's messed up. I'm, quite, I'm using an iPad, so it's a lot more harder to uh, do these kind of things. So I try my best to uh, do what I can uh, with the uh, materials that I have. But anyways, I do want to make a base for like, kind of like uh, grass and hills and mountains and trees and all that kind of stuff. So I can uh, have like an area for my Godzilla figures to fight each other because when I make my stop motions I just like have my wall as the background and all that kind of stuff and it just kind of looks weird <coughs> so if I were to make a base just you know like get some green spray paint get a bunch of dirt and all that kind of stuff and make hills and grass and all that kind of stuff and just spray paint it all green <laughs> And then get, like, buy miniature trees or something like that. Or I can just make my own trees. Or attempt on making my own trees. And then put those all over the place and super gloom. I don't know. Something like that. And then I could, for the, uh, like, make kind of like a sky background. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how to use green screen, so... Don't be like, oh, you can just use green screen. I don't know how to use that, and I prefer not to. Uh, because when I see stop motions that use green screen, uh, it doesn't necessarily look good because there's some parts of the stop motion that are, like, obviously weird looking. Uh, and I just don't want my stop motions to really look like that, even though they're mostly weird looking anyways. Um... In the frames, I'm really working on doing frame rates and all that kind of stuff. I yet am to find the right frame rate to uh, make stop motions. Because some stop motions are fast. Some stop motions are slow. Uh, and then some stop motions are go like are all mixed up. Or it's good and then it goes bad and then it's kind of slow and all that kind of stuff. It's really complicated. Because sometimes... I go slow with the stop motions because I'm more calm and then when I get towards the end of the stop motions I'm more bored and like tired and all that kind of stuff because I get impatient because I want to get it done because I'm very impatient with things and it's fairly obvious if you know me personally. Um, so I get impatient and then I just want to get it done faster and then it ends up looking crap at the end. And it's good at the beginning, but it craps at the end. And uh, it <coughs> happened to me a few times with my stop motions. So I'm probably gonna take a break on stop motions as I have been doing for a while. My last stop motion was probably my best stop motion was a uh, uh, Rogue, which is gonna be a was a trailer for like a. Predator stop motion series that I'm eventually gonna do that's not canceled at all uh, I'm eventually gonna do it Once I get really better at stop motions that is 
So I got like three series that I got to do in result of stop motions, even though not many people are going to care about it anyways. But anyways, um, that's basically it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and me explaining uh, what's going on with stop motions and all that kind of stuff because I really, really enjoy making stop motions and I don't plan on stopping making stop motions. I just plan on getting better at doing them. So I hope you guys enjoy the future stop motions that I will be releasing who knows when. <laughs> so, um, hope my future self does good. Do good, future self. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.